G'day guys, alright Taz here. Today we're going to set the idle and sync the carbs on Dizzy, my XVS 650 project bike. Today I'm going to use a mammometer and a tiny tack to sync the carbs and set the idle on my V-Star XVS 650 project bike. On the forums they tend to think that syncing carbs is a panacea for all problems and for me it's more a set and forget situation where once it's done you really don't need to do it again unless you mess with the carbs and as you've seen in the videos I've done that a few times so it's time to dig out the old mammometer uh, attach it to the bike and reset the sink so that we know that the carbs are opening and closing at exactly the same time which shares the load evenly between the two carbs rather than the front carb or the back carb dominating and therefore you're losing valuable horsepower both of these items are available on eBay. I think this was about $45 delivered and this was about $10 delivered. They're invaluable for this job. Uh, let me go point of view and we'll hook everything up. Oh, before I start, I've just taken Dizzy for a ride so it's nice and hot. Uh, this is a job best done with the bike warm. So guys, attaching the tiny tack is dead easy just goes round one of the spark plug leads or high tension leads a few times and it runs back to the unit. The unit's battery powered, uh, they're quite accurate from what I've seen and it just gives you a really good idea at what the RPM is on a bike that doesn't have a tack stock. There's a couple of different settings so you'll just have to have a play or use the instructions to best suit it to your bike which I've done. Just using some needle nose pliers just remove the rubber bungs from the valves. We're gonna set this one to go to the front cylinder This one to the rear cylinder. So there's this hose behind it right there. That's the screw. You want these valves which adjust the airflow, otherwise these swing wildly and it's really really difficult to adjust. So these just control the airflow and make it easier. So we've got everything hooked up. There's your screw. Uh, probably want to turn the idle up. I've found over the years that that's easier. So with the valves open, you can see it's swinging wildly. Just adjust them till it's easy to observe your numbers. So as you can see, and as I thought, mine are out quite considerably. And it's because I've been adjusting everything. So front carb, Starting to 
even up now. Too far. even there. Split the throttle. Perfectly there. And now we're at 900. And the factory manual suggests that idle sits at about 1100. out and the engine is hot so just be careful and we just put our bungs back on hot it's a bloody hot engine now That guys is all there is really to sinking the carbs. Just a mammometer from eBay, a tiny tack, pop it on these bungs very, very gently because the screw is sensitive. Turn it until you've got good balance between the carbs. Set your idle, Bob's your uncle, it won't lag. You get better throttle response and you make use of all the horsepower that this bike has to offer. All 40 horses of it. Because uh, my name's Ira Taz. Till I see you next time, I'm out.